The first time it happened, he was much older. At 20, he stood six foot two and towered over me. Eddie and I were alone the night we went to see Gone with the Wind. He suggested we sit in the very back row of the theater. I'm fine where I am. Eddie, please. No, oh, come on. I'm not hurting you, man. I wanted to say no, but didn't know how. What are you doing? I need you. Please don't tell me no. Besides, I brought you here to the movies, didn't I? I want to go home. Now. Bye. Eddie, why did you stop? I need you. Please don't tell me no. I took you to the movies, didn't I? But this is wrong. I've already told you. Please, I want to be married before we do this. That's when he promised me we would be, someday. We're gonna be married one day, so it's all right. And that's how we ended up together that terrible night in early spring 1977, when I was in eighth grade. Well, We're married now, so everything's going to be all right. Day. Nothing will ever make me feel bad again. Nothing can make it wrong now. And the dust are you hungry? I'm not. Well, remember I'm eating for two now, so I'm famished. That's too bad, but... Oh well. If you must eat, you must eat. Eddie, if I don't get something to eat, I'm going to be sick. Are you gonna make me wait some more? I already hurt real bad. Can you just take care of me first? You don't know how good it feels to hold you again, to touch you. It's been so hard these last few weeks going without you. I thought I might die. All right. So I gave in, and the entire time I just stared at the ceiling, my eyes chasing the pattern there. When he was finished, I was so ill I could barely eat. Are you upset or something? No, Eddie. Not at all. Yes, you are. You're mad because I didn't clean the house today, aren't you? No, I'm just tired. That's all. Come to bed with me. We can get up in the morning and clean the house. That won't work. I have an appointment in the afternoon. There are other things I have to get done in the morning. I'll just have to clean tonight. Just go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, because all I am is a stinking babysitter. No good for anything but changing dirty diapers and watching kids. I've had about enough of you. Just because I don't have a job does not mean that I'm lazy. I'm not lazy. Do you understand? Let go of me. No, we're going downstairs and I'm going to show you what a good worker I am. Oh, oh my God. Don't you lay one finger on me. All right, darling. That's the way you want it. By the time we had been married 10 years, I was ready to end it all. I just had to make it to the bank first to take out the money I needed but I nearly froze from fear when I saw Eddie coming out of the bank. Hello, Daly. Fancy meeting you here. Yes. I had to stop by the office for a minute. Oh, so you're working. You know I had to take a temporary leave of absence. That's why it'd be really great if you give me some monetary support right now, for the kids' sake. Well, see, I thought you might change your mind for that. We've had these little disagreements before, and we've been able to work them out. It won't work. Not this time. Well, then I guess my answer is still no. I'm not giving you a cent. See you later. In less than five minutes, Eddie had convinced me there was no way to save my marriage, and I was better off without him. We all were. Cradling him lovingly, I slowly walked over to the open window. Just a shirt on a rack in a thrift store. Pulls a trigger Held out my arms. Of my head. And let go. And the feelings come back in a frustrating swirl. And I won't
There is rust on my halo. There are stains on my solo. All the lessons I've learned so slow will someday make me hollow. See that man on side of road, shoulders bowed on the heavy load. Praying for change at the stop sign stand, cardboard letters and a soldier's hands. Now it I learn not to believe he need love like you and me. There is 